Hey there, this is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Guess where I'm at today? I'm all the way out in Torrance, which is like really, really south of Los Angeles. I don't usually come out to this area that often because it's far and I don't really have too many reasons to, but for today I have a pretty good reason because I'm gonna be trying Hawaiian food here in the LA County area, and I don't really eat Hawaiian food that often in LA. So this is the first time I'm actually getting like a really big overview experience of traditional Hawaiian food here at this restaurant called Auntie Miley's in Torrance, which is one of the best Hawaiian restaurants in Los Angeles County. I'm so excited to try this because it's been a long time since I've had Hawaiian food. And I've not really had like really in-depth Hawaiian food before. So this is gonna be my first time in LA just trying all this Hawaiian food for like the first time, just like all spread out in front of me. So it's really gonna be like a feast in many ways. So if you guys are curious to see what Hawaiian food looks like, then stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see the overview of a lot of popular comfort Hawaiian foods that you can find not only in Hawaii, but also here in Los Angeles as well, especially if you wanna see what it looks like here in LA. And also if you're new to this channel, then please subscribe to Rockstar Eater because that's the best way to get these episodes on a weekly basis. You don't wanna miss out on that. So take the moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and you'll be all set to get these awesome food episodes on a weekly basis. This is the first time that I am in the kitchen of a Hawaiian restaurant, and I always like to see how different restaurants work, and I'm gonna show you guys how they make some of the awesome Hawaiian food here at Aunt Miley's. So they got a whole bunch of that beef teriyaki and short ribs down there, and then it's conveniently next to the grill so they can put it right on top, just like that. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm looking at a whole bunch of things, like a whole bunch of meat being grilled and also all this meat being deep fried. I mean, it's just so overwhelming to me. It's like, it's, it's just like you just want to eat it all. Look, oh man, look at them all fry. That's, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look at that. See that then all the sauce goes on top just like that. Nice glaze and spice all around. Mix it in, ready to go. So every day they do have specials as well. So depending on what day you come, there's gonna be specials for every day. So I'm here on a Thursday, so the special today is the meatloaf. Meatloaf with gravy, and it changes every single day. So they have a set menu, but they also have like a everyday special type of menu as well. So on Miley's restaurant, it began with its first location in Hawaii on the big island. And this is, I think, their fifth location here in Torrance. And you know, the concept behind it is, is pretty simple. It's like family recipe, comfort food, really feel good. So it's kind of influenced by like the cooking style of the big island of Hawaii. But then of course, with some personal twist to it to make it uh, pretty exciting overall. So I'm gonna show you like some of the things that I got here today because it looks so, so, Good. So poke, of course, is another one of the very traditional dishes in Hawaii. It's like, they call it fish salad. So this is like tuna uh, fish salad that's made with avocado and some green onions. And we got this like interesting like sriracha, spicy sriracha mayo that's on top of it. So here in California, we definitely have a very unique way in which we make poke as well. Because in Los Angeles, it's like, you get different kinds of raw fish and then you get all this like topping like all around and you kind of mix it together. But in Hawaii, it's a lot simpler. So what I got here today is more, uh, it resembles more of what the traditional Hawaiian poke looks like. You know, like with the tuna and the sauce and everything like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very looking forward to trying this one because this is like, 
something that I haven't had in a while, actually. Mmm. Wow, well, it's pretty amazing. The tuna is like really fresh. I love the sesame oil, as well as the dressing that's over it, which I believe is some sort of a, maybe show you like a soy sauce dressing that's a little bit salty, a little bit sweet as well. And then the spicy mayo that's over it, it's like, it gives a nice creaminess to it and it's not too spicy either, just a little pinch of it. Oh boy, if you never had whole poke in a restaurant before, like a Hawaiian restaurant, you're missing out. So get it. If you go to a Hawaiian restaurant, this is one of the absolute must get items in a Hawaiian restaurant. This thing is quite a mountain. This is their famous teriyaki chicken salad. So it's like boneless chicken teriyaki that's served with some fresh greens and some crispy wonton skins on top. I don't think I've ever seen a salad like this before. I'm gonna dress it up really quickly before I eat this thing. So it has a nice, nice taste all around. <laughs> that one is pretty good too. Like the teriyaki chicken, really good. It's been barbecued, has a nice like flame broil texture and taste all around. You can taste the teriyaki sauce. And then like with the salad, really refreshing. Like really a fresh taste in your mouth. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever had teriyaki chicken salad before. So I didn't even know if it was gonna work or not. Like, but apparently it's one of the most popular items on the menu here. So if you're a salad person, like chicken salad type of person, you have found your dish right over here. Adds a perfect crunch to this whole meal. This, like I said, is the furukake chicken, which is chicken thighs that's uh, deep fried, and then it's uh, glazed with the special homemade furukake glaze, as well as some of that furukake seasoning on top of it. Doesn't it look so delicious? It also comes with a little macaroni salad, a lot of white rice, piece of orange. Mm -mm -mm. I never knew how tasty furukake was, especially like on fried chicken. That's amazing. So it's definitely sticky. So you taste the sweetness of the furukake glaze, but then with the furukake seasoning on top of it, it just blows us off the roof. I can see why this is the most popular item here at this restaurant. It is a knockout. Also have to make an honorable mention of the macaroni salad as well. It's good. Nice creaminess to it. Really good taste. Exactly like a Hawaiian macaroni salad. This here is the famous Kalua pork and cabbage. So it's Kalua pork that's slow cooked till it's like tender and juicy and it has some steamed cabbage on top with some more macaroni and rice. Wow, that's pretty, pretty nice actually. The pork is like really soft, like really super soft. And then the cabbages are like, I think it's like steamed cabbages, so it's also very soft. It breaks apart in your mouth really easily as well. But this is, I would say, more of like a very comfort food type of pork dish. So there's nothing too bombastic about it. It's not like fried or super like glazed and, you know, things like that. It's actually a little bit more low key. Kind of like something that you would find like, you know, eating at home basically. That's exactly like the way you feel like when you eat this thing. Here's the Karbi short ribs, which is kind of like the Hawaiian version or the Hawaiian take of Korean short ribs. So it's barbecued, it has a nice Korean housemade sauce as well. It's super popular here. It tastes just like a Korean short rib. If you've never had it before, it's very popular in uh, Korean 
barbecue restaurants, especially all you can eat Korean barbecue restaurants. And yeah, so this is pretty much like the short rib right here with this uh, soy sauce type of glaze over it. That's a little bit sweet and a little bit salty as well. And it's been uh, grilled. So it has like a nice flame broiled taste to it all around. Another one of the hot items here at this restaurant. Chicken katsu, which is the chicken uh, thigh, I believe, that's deep fried, you know, with the spreading coating on top of it till it's golden brown. So it's definitely gonna be very nice and crispy, along with some of the sauce on the side as well. Oh yeah, so definitely gotta get your fried fix here with this chicken katsu, which is popular in Hawaii. And dip a little bit of that brown sauce on top of it. Not too much, just a little bit to see what it tastes like. Awesome taste. If you never had a chicken katsu before, you should get it. If not at a Japanese restaurant, get it here at a Hawaiian restaurant. And now moving on to their dessert. So this is their guava cake. It's like a guava chiffon cake. I've never had anything like this before. Never had me a guava cake. I am so interested to see what this one tastes like. That is so interesting. It has like a guava flavor to it. Very soft because like I said, it's chiffon cake, like kind of spongy. I love these kind of cakes. It's not too sweet because I don't like cake that's like really sweet. So it has like a perfect amount of sweetness to it. Good fluffiness to it. Nice, like fruity guava taste to it. Well, another one of their specialties here at On Miley's. So if you don't know what other desserts to get, then you know this one's a safe bet. It's good, especially if you love fruit tasting cakes. So what are some of the standouts that I really liked here at this restaurant? You know, everything here, like I said, was really good. But if I had to pick like what are some of the few standout dishes that are like absolute must gets, you definitely need to get the furukake chicken. Like I said, amazing. It's like cracked chicken. It's so addictive. You're gonna wanna eat it again and again. And then there, Avocado pokey was also really good as well. If you're a pokey fan, they don't disappoint here. It has a really nice flavor to it, really fresh. It's a good place to have pokey. And then another one of my uh, surprise ones that I didn't really know what to think of, but I actually ended up liking it a lot is the teriyaki chicken salad. Just a mix of the teriyaki chicken with the, you know, the vegetables and that taro and all those really delicious crispy wonton chips on the top. Oh, that is an amazing killer salad. If you don't know what other salads to get, you gotta get that one. And of course, you know, chicken katsu is always something I like all the time. So, you know, it's always gonna be one of my favorites. But yeah, everything here was just really good. I'm impressed. I don't eat Hawaiian food that often here in LA, but today was really the first time I think that I've actually had exposure to so much Hawaiian food all at once from a restaurant that actually came from Hawaii on the big island. So if you're here in the Torrance area and you're open to trying some good Hawaiian food, then Aunt Miley's is really the place to go. Like I said, good, good service, good hospitality, great food, great parking. And if you don't know what else to really get from the menu, just get what I got because these are some of the most popular dishes that are on the menu and if you get it i'm pretty sure you're not going to be disappointed with it all right guys so before we close out this episode i want to give a shout out to bruce he's the owner here uh, at aunt you. miley's right auntie miley's. auntie miley's okay and then the whole crew back here as well and when you come here which you are of course um you know look out for bruce look out for the team and they're going to take really good care of you great hospitality good portions of food really awesome taste right guys all right good hawaiian food thank you all right awesome <laughs> all right so anyways see you guys next time i hope you have a rocking day subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video